And hello to our fans online. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Monday, October 7th. A spectacular pileup at yesterday's Grand Prix of Houston sent three-time Indy 500 winner Dario Franchitti and three others to the hospital. Franchitti's car went airborne, slamming into the fence. It collided with two cars and debris flew into the crowd. Thirteen fans and a race official were also injured. Franchitti fractured two vertebrae, broke his right ankle, and suffered a concussion. He is being released from the hospital today. Extreme weather slammed parts of South Dakota and Wyoming. An early October blizzard buried the area under as much as four feet of the white stuff. Thousands lost power, airports closed, and major roads were forced to shut down as driving became too treacherous. Rapid City is digging out from 23 inches of snow, the city's second highest snowfall on record. And the Olympic flame is now on a 39,000 mile journey that will end at February's Winter Games in Sochi, Russia. But it got off to a rough start yesterday after a ceremony that included Russian President Putin. The flame was being run through the Kremlin, but it was blown out at one point. There you see when it happened. So the runner had to stop and a security guard quickly relit the torch. And this comes to us from this great state of Oregon. That is where bartender Aurora Kephart recently got a tip worth over $17,000. Yep, you heard it right. It came from an anonymous regular there at her bar who left her a couple of lottery tickets, and one of them was a big winner, it turns out. Aurora gave the guy a percentage of her winnings. Nice move and says she's going to use the rest to buy a couch. Dreaming big. If there's anything left, she says she's going to save it. Always smart to tuck a little away. That's true. Hey, by the way, you got a light? <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I am fresh, fresh out. Guess not. Torch is going to be out, too. <laughs> oh, Diana. <laughs> light your flame, girl. <laughs> you can get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.